Who has two thumbs and loves movies? The sky. Hello, movie lovers. I hope you do enjoy the video. Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today we're in my unboxing and review of Paprika. I want to thank Sony Pictures for sending this one over for review. If you have seen it, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. So this one is a matte finish, and it is a little tough to see, I think, but this picture is actually made up of lots of other uh, pictures as well. Very cool look to that. It does include 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray and digital. Here is the spine, Sony Pictures logo there on the spine. A gorgeous riot of future shock, ideas and brightly animated imagery, a mind-twisting, eye-tickling wonder. Prepare to enter the realm of fantasy and imagination, where reality and dreams collide in a kaleidoscope mindscape of sheer visual genius. The magical tale centers on a revolutionary machine that allows scientists to enter and record a subject's dream. After it is stolen, a fearless detective and brilliant therapist join forces to recover the device before it falls into the hands of a dream terrorist in this gripping anime thriller from acclaimed director Satoshi Kon. Uh, special features, the 4K disc includes the movie and Restoring Paprika. Blu-ray includes making of documentary, a conversation about the dream, the dream CG world, the art of fantasy, filmmaker commentary, storyboards, and original drawings, theatrical trailers. Uh, this one does have Dolby Vision. It is rated R for violent and sexual images. Has a runtime of 91 minutes. Audio includes Japanese Dolby Atmos, Japanese English French 5.1 DTS HDMA, Spanish 5.1 Dolby Digital, and subtitles of English, English SDH, French, and Spanish. Here is the back. Cool look there. Um, it also has some smaller images kind of embedded into it, too. Looks really cool. And uh, this image kind of wraps around this, the this middle here, which is kind of odd, but looks cool. Here's the inside. You get some imagery there. 4K disc has the same art as the front, and the Blu-ray has the same art as the back. That's kind of cool. Uh, and there is the interior art. So this one was a first time watch for me. Let me present to you my review. Paprika is a mind bending anime film that takes viewers on a surreal journey into the realms of dreams and reality. Set in a near futuristic world, the story revolves around a revolutionary device known as the DC Mini. Developed for therapeutic purposes, this device allows therapists to enter and explore the dreams of their patients, offering a unique approach to psychotherapy. The narrative kicks into high gear when the DC Mini is stolen, and its powerful capabilities are exploited by an unknown adversary. Dreams and reality begin to intertwine in unexpected ways, creating a chaotic and unpredictable landscape for both the characters and the audience. At the center of this turmoil is the enigmatic character, Paprika, a young and skilled therapist who becomes determined to put a stop to the malicious use of the DC Mini. As the boundaries between dreams and reality blur, the film presents a visually captivating spectacle of surreal imagery and fanatical landscapes. Satoshi Kon, the director, employs his signature blend of psychological depth and visual innovation to craft a narrative that challenges the audience's perceptions and invites them to question the nature of consciousness. The characters navigate through a kaleidoscope of dream worlds, each more bizarre and unpredictable than the last. Themes of identity, desire, and the subconscious mind are explored as the characters confront their own inner demons and the external threat posed by the misuse of the DC Mini. One of the standout features of this 4K edition is its visually stunning presentation. The vibrant color scheme and crystal clear images enhances the overall viewing experience. The intricate dream sequences benefit greatly from the heightened clarity, showcasing the creativity and imagination inherent in Khan's work. However, the film's narrative complexity seems to be a double-edged sword. As noted, the storyline can be challenging to follow, blurring the lines between the dream world and reality. The ambiguity may be intentional, mirroring the dreamlike nature of the plot, but it could also leave viewers feeling disoriented and disconnected from the unfolding events. 
In terms of audio, it's disappointing to learn that the Atmos feature is exclusive to the Japanese track. While the English DTS HD track provides a commendable surround sound experience, the absence of Atmos might be a letdown for those seeking the pinnacle of audio quality. Despite the narrative complexities and the audio limitations, a 3 of 5 rating suggests a mixed overall experience. The captivating visuals and solid audio performance contribute positively, but the challenging narrative may be a divisive factor for some viewers. Paprika's 4K release offers a fresh perspective on a classic anime, albeit with a few drawbacks that might affect its broad appeal. I hope you did enjoy the review. If you did, I appreciate it so much if you subscribe to the channel. Now, I did watch a little bit of this in the Japanese Atmos. Sounded great. It was a, a very nice uh, sound, but I would prefer to watch it in English. So I watched that. It just it just isn't quite as good. Not Not anything to complain about, but just the Atmos track does sound better. I'll see you next time. Hit the like button. Subscribe for more content. Still watching? Click on a suggested video.